Hello aspirants, I hope you are having a great day. A lot of you have asked about how many questions to be attempted to clear prelims with a safe margin. In this video, we will analyze the previous year cutoffs and try to arrive at a conclusion as to how much is enough to clear the geoscientist prelims. But before that, I must caution you that the numbers I am going to give you today is no way similar to that of original figures that would be decided by the UPSC. This is just to give you an idea about the trends in cutoff scores over the years and few inferences that can help you to create your own strategy as to how many numbers of questions you should attempt in the prelims. So in that in mind, <coughs> so that in mind, let's proceed. As you all know, the mark distribution of the prelims is like 100 marks for the GS and 300 marks for the geology paper totaling to 400 marks and each paper contains 120 numbers of questions. You, have, you also have one third negative marking for each incorrect answer in both these papers, right? Now, if you look at the year 2022, the general cutoff is around 154, which is about 38% of the total score. I must remind you, this was the first year of introduction of new pattern of examination and the level of questions in both the papers were moderate to difficult. So, obviously, the cutoffs were low. <coughs> but... In the year 2021, the general cutoff increased by 57 marks, that is around 211, which is about 52% of the total marks. This year, although there were limited vacancies, and that too only for the hydrogeologist posts, the level of questions in both the papers were in the range of easy to moderate. The result of 2022 is not published yet, and therefore we don't have the data for the 2022 cutoff, but here are some of some inferences that might help you look at the uh, looking at the level of the questions 2022 was comparatively comparatively in the range of easy to moderate and the cutoffs are therefore expected to be marginally higher than that of 2021 if this trend was followed cutoffs of 2023 prelims will again be higher if the question range was kept in easy to moderate zone also the numbers of vacancies are high this year so the cutoffs might also increase proportionately. So based on that, I am assuming something around 250 will be a safe margin. Now to get there, I'll give you two numbers. One is margin score, another is a safe score. So to get at the margin, you need at least 40 marks in GS, which means you need to correctly answer 50 questions. Then to get a safe score, you need at least 50 marks, which translates to 60 correct answers. Now I must remind you again, this does not include any wrong attempts. And similarly, for geology, you need 200 marks to reach at the margin, which translates to 80 correct answers, and 225 marks to reach a safe score, which translates to 90 correct answers. Here again, I am not, I am not counting any wrong attempts. So this uh, proportion of attempts that I just told you can be changed as per your own convenience and the, the area you feel most comfortable about. I hope this is this has given you some clarity about a quote unquote safe score, right? But you must analyze your strengths first and arrive at your own number of questions that you should attempt to reach at the margin. You can do so by giving mocks and by observing your own pattern of attempting questions. We can also help you with that through our own mock uh, mocks that uh, that we have for G GSI prelims. There is still more than 20 days for the prelims, and I should tell you that a lot can have can be done in these 20 days through these mocks. That's all about the discussion for today. We are happy to announce that Geology Concepts is now accessible to geology aspirants in offline mode as well. The classes for all the competitive examinations are going to start from February 13th of this year. Especially for GSI aspirants, uh, if you want to prepare for main answer writing, we are going to launch a dedicated course for that where our mentors will help you master the art of answer writing through their years of experience. If you are considering an offline experience, our center is in Pune and we will assist you with accommodation if you are an outstation student. We are excited about this new journey with you and I hope you are too. If you have any queries, write them in the comment and we'll get back. Until then, keep reading, keep revising and keep believing. I'll see you in the next video.